Belle is an outsider, like the audience. Um, so like you say, they see it through her eyes. And she's experiencing a lot of these things for the first time. And she can see that they're strange, like the audience can as well. Whereas they treat it all with a real air of seriousness and um, she kind of is able to poke fun at it, I think, which is nice for the audience to have that and see that it is weird um, and it's okay to laugh at it. In the wise words of Peter Ocko, our showrunner, because he's a writer and he can say it a lot better than I can. He spent the last few years wanting to escape to a better place. And I think that's ultimately what it is. It's a very hopeful view of what could happen to our species. And as the series eloquently says throughout it, the future could be better. I get that this is supposed to be our future. But you and I know darkness finds a way. So it's, it's really timely and relatable and it doesn't ignore what's happening in our world now. It embraces that and it shows that, but it shows what we can do as human beings when we have the space and the want to do better. It's completely genre defying. Like you can't really put it in one space and I kind of love that. Everyone's like, what am I watching? I don't know, but it's great. I really like it. <laughs> it I'm charmed by it. Um, yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. It's a sci-fi. It's also a very human and family drama, which I like. Um, it really hones in on its characters, which is a joy to be able to play and to be given so much space to kind of develop your own story and who you are. Um, but it's also kind of this political drama as well. Um, and yeah, murder mystery, but you find out who's done it within the first five minutes and it's sort of unpicking the whys of it. So it's kind of fun, it's, it takes a whole new spin on it. 